John Thomas Bigger Barclamore went missing from Inesawen Station, northwest of Cobar, New South Wales, on the 1st of January 1920. He was 45 years old at the time of his disappearance. In 1970, bones were found at Burnhamwood Well, which was once part of Inesawen Station. The bones were located in a hollow tree stump underneath one and a half square kerosene tins. The bones were from two hands, some sawn through rib bones, which had been burnt, and six teeth. Detectives from Burke, Cobar and Dubbo were certain the bones were human bones, yet forensic services from Sydney established that the bones were from a large marsupial. It was suspected that Mr Barclay Moore was murdered by serial killer Albert Moss, along with several others whose remains were located at several locations near Bummigan Creek between Narromine and Dubbo in 1938. Mr Moss was arrested and jailed in what is now known as Old Dubbo Jail. Mr. Barclay Moore's granddaughter, Jane, gave these details about her grandfather's murder. Mr. Barclay Moore was on his way to Burnhamwood Well, approximately 18 miles from the homestead at Inesawen, on the 1st of January 1920, to collect a couple of orphan calves and either relocate them or bring them home with him. Jane recalls her father saying that he remembers when he was approximately eight years old wanting to go with his father as he took him the fresh eggs his mother had packed for him for the trip. John must have been intending to make the trip over a few days as it would have been well up in the 40 plus degrees at that time of the year. When Mr Barclay Moore had not returned home, stockmen were alerted and began a search. Police asked for assistance from Aboriginal trackers in the search. Unfortunately, they were unable to assist as the tracker dogs were in Victoria at the time and it would take them too long to transfer them to Cobar. Searchers found Mr Barclay Moore's buggy, his horses had their harnesses on and two calves tied up at the back, which indicated that he was most likely ready to leave to return home. The property was searched extensively for any evidence, including the timbered well, the cattle yards and a steam-driven pumping engine. In 1970, two shearers who collected old bottles asked permission from Mr Barclay Moore's son to search any old campsites on his father's property. Mr Barclay Moore's son showed them the location and told them that it was the last known whereabouts of his father 50 years earlier. And the shearers decided that searching for clues to Mr Barclay Moore's murder was much more interesting than searching for old bottles. In their search, they even searched the many old hollow tree stumps on the property. The bones were discovered in a hollow tree stump which contained rusty kerosene tins. The remaining bones were never located and the police concluded at the time that the bones appeared as though they were those of a large marsupial, a ridiculous conclusion considering the teeth in particular. Several years later, there have been rumours that while in prison, Albert Moss had in fact confessed to a cellmate that he had in fact murdered 13 people and that his 13th victim was murdered near the well on the property. It has been confirmed that Albert Moss, who was an itinerant worker, was in the area of Mr Barclay Moore's property with a push bike at the time. But the case continues to remain unsolved.